So today we're talking about bias in ordinary least squares regression. And I have a very simple example here. So let's say we're trying to understand how big a person's salary is dependent on the years of education. And our variable of interest is this beta one, right? We want to know if I study for one year longer, if I, for instance, decide to take a master's degree, how much does this influence my future salary? Right. Let's say the salary five years after I graduate. Right. And so we collect some data and this is the data that we get. Right. So here on the X axis, we have the years of education and on the Y axis, we have the salary of the person. And what we could do naively is we could do an ordinary least squares regression. And what this regression would do is it would find the line that fits the data perfectly. Right? So this would be our ordinary least squares regression line. Right? And the slope of this line would be our estimate for beta 1. Right? In other words, what we would get is we would get this equation in numbers from our estimation method ordinary least squares. Right? We would get some intercept of the line. The intercept would be the point where the line crosses the y-axis, right, this is zero in this case or in this graph, and we would get an estimate for beta 1, it's maybe 1,000 times years of education. So from this estimation, we would conclude that every year of education brings me a 1,000 euros in salary extra. However, this is dead wrong. And the reason is that our estimator in this case is biased, right? And the formal definition or the formal, the formal definition that we need for unbiasedness is that the covariance of our error term with the regressor is zero at all times, right? Um, for all i. And I'm gonna explain intuitively what that means in this graph and why our estimation of a thousand euros in this case is actually wrong, right? Let's go back to our graph. So we have our data points and let's say that the true impact of education is like this. So this is the true impact of education on salary. What would be, why would our, our, um, assumption on unbiasedness be violated in this case, right? Let's see. So for small years of education or small xi, our deviation from the true impact is small, right? For large years of education, our deviation is large, right? In other words, if the true impact of years of education and salary would be this line, then we would have a positive correlation right? Because with larger x, with larger years of education, our error terms grow larger. And in fact, I would argue that this is the case in real life. Why? Because there's another variable that significantly, significantly impacts the salary, and that is the socioeconomic status, right? So people who are, have rich parents will have access to better jobs because the parents have better friends or richer friends and so on, right? But of course, people with richer parents can also study longer, right? So people with high years of education are more likely to have richer parents, right? So I would argue that there's an impact of years of education on the salary and that there's an impact of socioeconomic status, or in other words, how rich your parents are, right? And maybe this is the impact of socioeconomic status on salary, right? And we know that if I have high years of education, I will also have high, high socioeconomic status, right? So the salary that we in fact observe is the sum of both of those effects, right? We have the effect coming from socioeconomic status, which influences my salary five years after my graduation, and we have the years of education, right? And now you see why our 
individual estimation for beta 1 for the influence of years of education is wrong if we use OLS, right? So OLS will give you this estimate, right? But the slope of this line is representative to the, socio to the effect of the socioeconomic status plus the effect of the years of education. Right? So in other words, saying that our estimate of a thousand euros means that my years of that that another year of education actually adds a thousand euros of my salary is wrong, right? Because the thousand euros, the effect comes from years of education and better socioeconomic status. In other words, we can't say that this number is a causal and intelligent uh, estimation of the effect of years of education, right? Because it also includes the socioeconomic status, right? And this is why this assumption is so crucial, right? That we don't have a correlation between our regressor and the error term in real life. Because if we have, then there's likely going to be another variable which influences our outcome. Right? In this case, our estimation by OLS will be wrong.